very sorry that I didn't realize that I would have to open stuff with one hand. <laughs> um, and I didn't really set up a... It, it's a very, <coughs> it's a very last minute thing. So, we are back. Um, I'm in the streaming area room. And I've got the packs that my beautiful prophetic calico cinder picked. And then I got all these loser ones here. So, we're going to open one from each. And we will see exactly just how prophetic she is. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get going. So the first pack we're opening. I've got to have my hands out here. Also, the uh, sides are reversed. Okay, here we go. First pack, Lightning Overdrive. It's probably movies. So over here, it's very organized. I didn't even bring the box. I should have brought the box. Okay. Do, 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 do. Okay, see? Okay. Dogmatic Calamity, AI Meet You, Yamori Mori, Springen's Brothers, Ooh, that's first. S Force Edge Razor. Judge of the Ice Barrier, Star Mine, Bujin Mahitotsu, and Sunvine Crossbreed. Okay. Now, I know the quality of this video is kind of not great. It's the best that I could do, but I hope you guys can see at least the cards somewhat clearly. And if not, feel free to yell at me. You know, let me know exactly what you think. So there's that. There's a. Oh, we're gonna move these. We're gonna move these even more somewhere else right here. I'm all nice and stacked, and I'm going to knock them over with my big hands, and we're going to scoop these over. I'm gonna grab this last straggler here. We're going to get the supers here, the commons here, and then anything cool will go right here. So let's open one of the prophecy packs. I want something that my prophetic animal said was good. S-Force Dog Tag, Starry Night Seal, as we're seeing that. Diddy Super Sight King Zero Maxwell, Amazement Special Show, Supreme Sovereign Serpent of Golgonda. Ooh. Making me even want to build a Spring and Second More. Anchama Frit, War Rock Mahmood, Maze Attraction Rapid Racing, and Bait Basal Rose Shoot. Okay. Not bad. I like it. Let's open up a regular pack, see how it stands up. It's super up close of my hands. Okay. Hopefully I didn't absolutely destroy this card. Alright. Okay. Starry Night Seal. AI Challenge You. Scrap Raptor. Boo Boo Game. Bujin Torifune. Amazement Ambassador Bufo. Clock Arc, Judge of the Ice Barrier, Spriggan's Booty. <laughs> what? Can't believe they used the B word. The butt word. When they made cards. There's never, ever been a card with booty in its name before. Ever. Let's throw this aside here. Alright, this is another one of the non-prophecy packs. Another Starry Night Seal, AI Challenge You, Scrap Raptor. This is the exact same pack. Boo Boo Game. Albion the Branded Dragon. This is one of the new, uh, this is one of the new, um, Dogmatica cards, isn't it? This card is Fusion Summoned. You can fusion one, you can fusion summon one level 8 or lower fusion monster from your extra deck, except itself, by banishing fusion materials to sit on it from your hand, field, and or graveyard. During the end phase, if this card is in the graveyard because it was sent there this turn, you can add to your hand or set one branded spell or trap directly from your deck. Okay, so this is part of the uh, Fallen of Albaz specific um, archetype. That's pretty freaking cool. So we're gonna we're gonna put them down here with all the other cool cards. Clock Arc, War Rock, Big Blow, Screams of the Branded, one by one. Alright, now time to open one of the Prophecy Packs. So the Prophecy Pack hasn't gotten an Ultra yet, so I don't know, maybe I, maybe my cats aren't amazing Prophets that I thought they were after all. I mean, they've gotten me Ultimate Rares before, but 
Okay, Buj Incandescence, a Maze Attraction Majestic Merry-Go-Round. Otoshi Damashi, Paleozoic Cambro Braster. Tri Brigade Bear Brum, the Rampant Rambager. Ooh, okay, so this is going straight in my Tri Brigade deck. Because I already have a Tri Brigade Zoo deck ready to go. This is going to be super good for it, apparently. Let's, let's read that effect. Two Tri Brigade monsters. You can discard two cards, then target one of your banished level 4 or lower beast, beast warrior, wind beast monsters, special summon it. And then if this card is sent to the graveyard, you can add one Tri Brigade Spell or Trap from your deck to your hand. Ooh! You know what that means? You're adding Tri Brigade Spells and Traps. <laughs> then, place one card from your hand on the bottom of the deck. Also, you cannot special summon for the rest of this turn except Tri Brigade Monsters. Okay. I mean, that's not the worst thing in the world. There's other Tri Brigade Monsters besides this one. Alright, so. This is one of the Prophecy Packs. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Not not bad, if I do say so myself. Maybe we can get a playset. Maybe we can get a playset. It's not crazy, crazy uh, guess, right? All right, one Kari Way, War Rock Generations, ZW Pegasus Twin Saber. Okay, a little bit throwback to Duel Links there. Terrors of the Underroot, Ada the Sun Magician. This card is normal, summoned, or flipped face up. You can special summon one spellcaster monster with 1500 defense from your hand or deck and face down defense position. During your opponent's main phase, quick effect, you can change face deck. One face down spellcaster monster you control to face up attack or defense. Ooh, okay. That's interesting. There's a lot of uses for that. Tons of spellcasters with flip effects in the game. I think with 1500 attack and defense. Maybe even a whole archetype. Huh? Ah? <laughs> Alright. Let's get back down to business. No more funny, no more funny stuff. All right, Terrors of the Underroot. Let's bring its brothers. Danmari at Ignister. Okay. Sky Scourge, Sid Hells. Proof of Proofless. If you control no special summon monsters, you can special summon this card from your hand. Also, you can't special summon other monsters for the rest of this turn. You can only use this effect of Proof of Proofless once per turn. If this card is normal special summon, you can, immediately after this effect resolves, tribute summon one monster. Interesting. Doesn't look good on paper, like just looking at it. Pharaonic Guardian Sphinx. But, maybe, maybe I'm blind. It looks very specific. Like a very specific card could really just abuse that. Also, it's cute. So... Keep going. Ah, stab myself with myself. All right, non-prophecy pack, just a regular one. AI meet you, amazement special so show, scrap raptor, war rock generations, war rock wento, war rock wentos. So this is the waifu. Screams of the branded one by one. Black eyes, the plunder patrol sea guys. That's a new plunder patrol card. And then rapid racing. So it looks like there's a lot of common support common and super support for a lot of beloved archetypes in this set which i'm all for so i'm hoping to get some really good stuff all right this is one of the uh prophecy packs right here so avalon daphne dark eye nightmare buj incandescence zexel alliance garden rose flora you can target one card in the field zone, destroy it, and special summon to its controller's field, one rose token. In attack position, also you cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck for the rest of this turn, except synchro monsters. He only uses this effect of Garden Rose Flora once per turn. Once per chain, during your opponent's main phase, you can quick effect immediately after this effect resolves, synchro summon using this card to control. Oh, it's one of those. Well, that's pretty bananas. It's a really good uh, extra tuner. For extra tuner synchro right there. I like her. Not bad. Also, it's probably the first uh, Yu-Gi-Oh card I've seen where it's got more of a close-up of the being rather than just like a zoom out of a scene or just the being. It just looks kind of very, very much focusing on the waifu aspect of this here. All right. Non-prophecy pack. S Horse Dog Tag, Star Knight Seal, Super Sight King, Amazement Special Show. Zexel Construction. Oh, this is a very pretty card. Something special, but yeah, I don't know, it's just very pretty. 
Foiling looks amazing. Reveal one card in your hand, and if you do, add one of the following cards from your deck to your hand, and then shuffle the revealed card into the deck. It's basically, you can add a ZW monster, a ZS monster, a Zexal spell and trap, a rank up magic spell, or a rank down magic spell. So this is literally just a searcher for your rank up spells. I can't believe that exists. Earth Promise Flame, one by one. Nice, and it's very pretty too. They foiled, um, they foiled it in such a way that the triangles stand out, so it looks very, very pretty. I think this is probably my, my favorite card in the set, just because it's so pretty. All right, we're gonna open a regular one. So actually, let's separate the prophecy packs. I think this was a prophecy pack. Prophecy. And this was a prophecy. And I think that was a prophecy. I'm not certain. I am not certain at all, so we're just going to put those there and hope that I was right. And someone is observant enough to go back and be like, no, try, you're wrong. Those weren't the prophecy cards. Well, then I say to you, you are correct, probably. All right, Sky Scourge, Zexal Alliance, Dark Eye Nightmare, War Rock Generation. Let me move this up. War Rock Spirit. Ooh, very pretty. It's a War Rock card, so unfortunately I'm not going to read it. Hidden Springs of the Far East, Pharaonic Guardian Sphinx, and ZS Armed Sage. Let's organize this pile. Go straight into another pack. Need lots of War Rock cards. So sad that War Rocks got so much support, but unfortunately still aren't viable. Yet. Yeah, maybe someone will break them. Alright, War Rock, ZS Pegasus Twin Saber, Terrors of the Underroot, Amazement Precious Park. Another gorgeous, very colorful card. There's another Black Eyes, Maze Attraction, UNAI, Hidden Springs. That's it. Alright. So now, we are down to... Let's see. One, two, three, four... Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten normal packs. And two more prophecy packs. So what we're going to do is every five packs we're going to open a prophecy pack. Very trademark that phrase. Konami, please don't steal. Or at least pay me. So Avalon Daphne, Dark Eye Nightmare, Bujin Candescence, Zexal Alliance, Ready Rose Witch. Okay. Another Black Eyes, that's a uh, playset of the new Plunder Patrol card. And ZS Sage. And if I'm missing any common that's absolutely stand out, please say something, guys. Like, I don't want to, like, not read something that's really cool. Kind of rushing through this, honestly. Alright. S Force Dog Tag. One Green Way. Dark Eye Nightmare. Dark Honest. Ooh! Dark Honest? Oh my god! Very nice! I didn't think I'd get this card. That's the new Honest card. Once per turn during your main phase, you can return this face-up card to your hand. During the damage step, when your dark monster battles an opponent's monster, quick effect, you can send this card from your hand to the graveyard, and that opponent's monster loses attack equal to its own attack until the end of the turn. Very cool. Very cool. This is going right next to Albion the Branded Dragon. Well... Unfortunately, that wasn't even in a prophecy pack, so maybe, maybe my cats are not so prophetic after all. But Dark Honest! Oh my god! That's amazing! This is a card that I was wondering when would come out. Unfortunately, I didn't really look too much at the set spoilers. I looked at some of them, but I didn't know Dark Honest was in this set. Ooh! So excited. <laughs> Ooh, I wonder what secrets I'll pull next. Okay, so how many do we have left here? Alright, we got one more pack until we get to a prophecy pack. I gotta say, it's not looking good for the prophecy packs. Dogmatic Calamity, AI Meet You, Ya yeah, Mori Mori, Spring Its Brothers, Laval, Lavaval X Lord. Okay, very cool. World Soul Carbon. Ooh. It's very cool. Lots of different cards that I don't even like have yet. I don't I hope I get playsets of all the commons, but goodness gracious. Man. I don't think anything can top Dark Honest, unless, of course, it's that one ritual card that everyone's going bananas about. That's Diviner of the Heralds. Forget Diviner of the Heralds. 
Nothing can beat that. Or Starlight. That's first dog tag. One curry way. Dark Eye Nightmare. Ultimate Draconic Utopia. Hey, it's the cover guy. Ooh, nice. Okay, we're going to scoot this fella over. There we go. Nice cover monster. All right. Judge the Ice Bears, Star Mine, whatever. Yeah. Ooh, look at these pulls, guys. Looks amazing. All right, we got one more pack left before a prophecy pack. And I got to say, I'm pretty happy with what I'm getting here. All right. Let's keep going. Springins Brothers. Judgment of the Branded. S-Force Dog Tag. Yamori Mori. Oh, God! Diviner of the Heralds! Jeez! What did I say? Oh! <laughs> nice! Nice! Look at that, guys! Oh, my goodness! Oh, wow! Okay, yeah, whatever is going on here, yeah, no, no. Nothing can beat Diviner of the Heralds. Let me just kind of bring this beautiful card into focus here. Look at that. One box. Dark Honest, Diviner of the Heralds, Albion, and, Ult and, the, and the cover guy. I need to scoot this over a little bit. There we go. Beautiful! Oh, I'm so excited! Wow! I can't believe I got Diviner of the Herald! That's amazing. Ah. Nothing can top this anymore. I'm sorry, Prophecy Packs. But, looks like you've... You've been... You've been done, you've been outdone by the regular normal packs. I'm sorry, Cinder. Looks like your your job as a prophet is over. Alright, this is one of the prophecy packs. Pen transaction. Ooh, I I got this one before. Alright, whoop, we gotta put it over here. Kabuki Buki, blah blah blah. Old Soul Carbon, Screams the Branded. Man! <sighs> Can't stop looking at her, guys. She's gorgeous. Konami didn't give me this box, I promise. It's all from my local game store. Support your local game store, guys. Paleozoic, Cambro, Raster, Toshimashi, Dark Infant, Adding Mister. Okay, this is a new Adding Mister support. So we're going to set you right there. Oh, I think it's the second time I've gotten this one. And then Zex, probably second time I've gotten this one, too. We're going to, like, lay them all out later and see if I got play sets of all the commons. I really hope I did. We're going to save this Prophecy Pack for last. But man, never thought I'd get so lucky. i got to show you guys what my pulls were for the pre-release, too. It's a, They were amazing, too, but not nearly as amazing as this. Oh, my God. Okay. Spring its Brothers, did Mariatic Nister. I pulled another one first. Line of the Light, Charmer Lustrous. Nice. I think this might have been the second or third time I've gotten her. So now, Binary Bleeder, it's also the first time I've gotten that one. What's that one? It's card gains effect, Monsters Co-Linked. Oh, man. That's already not good because the uh, link arrows are not good. One or more, when this card declares attack, you can activate this effect. This card can make a signal attack. And also, if this card battles a post monster, that post monster cannot be destroyed by battle. After damage calculation, if this card battles an opponent's monster, you can banish that opponent's monster. Eh. Fortunately, not too crazy, but maybe it'll get crazy later. Who knows? I haven't seen too many people abuse Firewall Dragon or anything like that lately, so maybe I don't have to worry about the extra link. <laughs> All right. Bujin, Maze Attraction, Otoshi Damashi, Cambro Raster, Springins Merry Ma Hey, new Springins card! If this card is special summon for your extra deck, you can send one spring its monster from your deck to the graveyard. During your opponent's main or battle phase, you can it's a quick effect. You can banish this card until the end phase. And then if you banish this card with two or more exceeds materials, you can also send one fusion monster from your extra deck to the graveyard that lists fallen of Albat as its material. Ooh, here we go! There's the tie-in. There's the big tie-in to um to the uh branded stuff. Oh my oh there's another binary blader. And crossbreed and mahitotsu. Okay. Oh, I'm so excited. I've, I've been wanting to build Springins forever because I got one Explorer and I got all of the, uh, I got a place of Gold Golganda. All right. This is the third to last pack. Now, I'm pretty sure I pulled all the secrets. 
and there's only one prophecy pack left. So here's hoping, right guys? Sky Scourge, Zexal Alliance, Dark Eye Nightmare, Warrock Generations. Oops, I skipped one. Thrawn, the Disciplined Angel. If a monster that was originally an Earth Fairy is sent from your hand or field to the graveyard, you can special summon this card from your hand. Oh, okay. That's uh, it's pretty basic. Should work in very specific archetypes. I think I have a friend who uses um, I think I have a friend who uses this kind of archetype, like Earth Fairies. I think he would really like this. So, propose a trade. All right. So this is the last regular pack. Now keep in mind, both of these secrets are from the regular packs, and I think I don't think any of these are from prophecy packs either. I think this is the prophecy pack pile. It's kind of scoot everything over. It's the prophecy pack pile. As you can see, it's not too fantastic, but there is bear brim, bear brim, which is going to be very good for my tri brigade zoos. I have heard, anyway. You need to play test that. All right, enough talking. Here's the last pack. Second to last pack. You got the prophecy pack. Got the prophecy pack still going on. All right. Springin's Brothers, Judgment of the Branded, S-Force Dog Tag, Yamori Mori, Trap Tricks, Vesiculo. Oh, nice! The new Trap Tricks! So that's uh, three Ultras in this box and two Secrets. Lovely. Unaffected by the effects of whole normal traps. Yep. You can only use one of the following effects. You can send one set trap to control the graveyard. Special summon this card from your hand. If you control no cards or spell trap zone, you can banish this card from your graveyard or target one whole normal. Oh, nice. Improves the consistency. I mean, it already was pretty consistent, but that's pretty bananas. All right. Got play set of that weird blader card that I wasn't too thrilled about. It's a very specific blader card. Okay. Well, guys, I hope this prophecy pack can super duper impress us. Like, maybe give us a second bear brum or something. But so far, we have gotten the cover monster the new Fallen of Albaz fusion, and both both really amazing secrets. We got Diviner of the Herald, which is the standout secret of the set, and we got Dark Honest, which is a card that I've been anticipating the release of for a little while. Not enough to obviously check the set list, though, because I was totally taken aback. But super excited to see what this card will look like in my Unchained deck. New build coming soon, by the way. Judgment of the Branded, Scrap Raptor, Sonavalon Daphne, Denmari Agnister, A Maze Attraction Horror House. Huh. Didn't expect a third Ultra. No, a fourth Ultra. I gotta put you down here. I did not expect a fourth Ultra. But here we are. A Maze Attraction Horror House. And... That's it. That's the box, guys. This is all of the commons that I've gotten ever. Very thick, very thick stack. See how absolutely massive it is in my baby hands. I'll set that to the side here. These are the, I think, normal supers. That was smooth. You got to admit, that was really smooth. And they, these, I think I picked five prophecy cards. So for anyone who's late to the party, what I like to call the prophecy packs are the packs that uh, my prophetic amazing animals, my lovely assistants, have chosen as what they consider to be their favorite packs. So it doesn't mean, necessarily mean best packs, but if we did get a new synchro, and the new Tribrigate card and Zexal Construction out of it. So, I gotta say, that's not bad. Now, for the regular packs, we managed to pull, again, the cover card, Ultimate Dragonic Utopia Ray. We managed to pull the new branded archetype, which is related to Dogmatica, Spriggans, everything like that. It's intertwined with Fallen Valvez. We got Albion, the branded dragon. We got Diviner of the Herald which is, the, as you know, the standout secret of the set. And we got Dark Honest, which is my personal favorite pull of the set. And then we got the new Trap Tricks, 
card and a maze attraction horror house. So that was one box. Now, if any of you guys had any doubts about buying a box, I sure hope you don't have any anymore. Now, I promise you, Konami did not give me this box. I'm not even, like, a big Yu-Gi-Oh! YouTuber. I just went to my local game store and I grabbed a box and this is it. So, I'm happy with what I got. And I hope you guys are happy too. And I hope you guys are very happy to watch this. Um, sorry for the delay, first of all. Um, a lot of stuff was going on today. Didn't anticipate getting so held up. And I am sorry for not anticipating that I would need two hands to open packs and trying to stream with one hand. Um, next time that happens, I'll be a heck of a lot more prepared. But that's pretty much all we got today. I didn't play any games today because I, I anticipated it lasting a while, but we're hitting like a pretty good 45 minute hour mark. So I can call it good here. Um, thanks to everyone who joined today. Uh, for anyone who's in the chat, uh, let me just reach over, type in my Discord for anyone who is here. So there's my Discord for anyone who's new here, and here's my YouTube. Now, if you guys have any comments, questions, complaints, you know, or you just want to post anything that you think is cool, replays, deck lists, uh, even your binders, I'd love to see them. The community would love to see them, so go ahead and hop in the Discord if you want to have a gander at all the stuff that's there. I upload my streams onto YouTube and highlights, so look out for that if you want to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks so much for showing up today. I will be seeing you guys hopefully next week. I just got my second shot um, a few hours ago, so I'm hoping that I don't get super sick.